oils that are in seeds, they're not only nature's richest sources of energy, they're trapped sunlight. That's what a fat is. It's, a tra it's trapped solar energy through the miracle, the utter and complete miracle. There's no other word to describe this. It is pure miracle of photosynthesis, which is where material matter, the sun somehow becomes material. The sun becomes matter through the action of photosynthesis. And how that happens is just mind-blowingly fascinating and complex. I'm not going to get into it, but just think. The sun gets turned into material. What's the material? Sugar. And then sugar gets turned into fat. So fat is trapped sugar, and sugar is trapped, electric, uh, trapped solar energy, trapped photons. Fat is nature's richest source of energy because it contains all of this energy from the sun that has been concentrated. You're eating the sun when you eat fat. When you eat oil, you're eating the sun. They got, uh, you get energy from the fats, but there's two special fats that not only provide us with energy, but actually they're essential. They're like air. They're like water. You can't live without them. You know, you can't live without energy, certainly, but there's two particular fats that are so important that without them, you become very, very sick. They're called omega fats, omega-6 and omega-3. These are two special kinds of fats. They're, they're like air and water. They're essential, essential fatty acids. You know, the term acid, that confuses us sometimes. So just think essential fat. Essential meaning you better have it. Fat meaning it's a fatty substance. happens to be acidic, so they call it EFA or essential fatty acid, but essential fat. And so omega-6s and omega-3s, not only via omega-6s and omega-3s, not only are fats a source of energy, but they're a, fats, uh, they're a source of hormones. Hormones like uh, uh, if hormones of inflammation, hormones of anti-inflammation, the so-called eicosanoids. Omega-6s and omega-3s are sources of hormones that control the inflammatory process. They come from seeds, and you need a balance of the two, omega-6s and omega-3s. Inflammation and breakdown and oxidation, these are all kind of similar processes. They contribute to, to, the, to the deterioration of the human body. Oxidation is a kind of rusting. Inflammation blocks things off, blocks out, uh, uh, blocks out oxygen, blocks out nutrition, keeps toxicity local. Both inflammation and oxidation are similar in the sense that they're degrator, degrator, de degrading. <laughs> degradatory, I think that's the word. They're deteriorating. And so the phytonutrients, these plant nutrients that protect the oils and the seed, they'll protect us from inflammation too. They're anti-inflammatory. Omega-6s and omega-3s in the right proportion. As it turns out, omega-6s have a pro-inflammatory effect, but in the right proportions, omega-6s and omega-3s give us just the right amount of, of inflammation and anti-inflammation. They, they keep one from, override, from, uh, from uh, dominating. Our bodies are made of fats and water. We're 60 to 70% water. Somehow or another, we are walking puddles, sloshing around doing our day-to-day -day activities. Now, that's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it, and how all of this water is somehow bound up and tied up and used and controlled and modified to create a body. That's pretty mind-blowing stuff right there. I'm not going to get into it. But basically what's happening here is fats are trapping the water. And when the fats break down, the water leaks out. And when the water leaks out, we are, get sick. And by the way, we feel pain. So correct fats, anti-inflammatory and inflammatory fats in the right balance, not only are important for the inflammatory process, but they're important for pain relief and for our long-term survival. I'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Are your all right, we're back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Talking a little about fats and fatty vitamins in the world of skincare. It's all about the fats, you guys. This is one of the reason, reasons why you want to be an ingredient deck reader because if an ingredient is not fatty or fat-soluble, it's not going to do much for your skin, at least for the lower levels of the skin. And surprise, surprise, the vast majority of materials that you put on your skin, active, supposedly active materials, are water-soluble, not fat-soluble. This is, this is really important when it comes to vitamin C. Always, folks, always fat-soluble vitamin C. You're not going to see it very much, and sometimes you'll see a tiny little bit of it, and you need to have a good dose of it. You need to have a lot of it. That's why I came up with my Truth Treatment products to, get you, to give you guys an opportunity to leverage the unbelievable, unbelievable anti-aging and healing properties of fatty vitamin C. It's kind of like a combination of the, of the electrical energy, the, the water part of vitamin C, the watery, uh, watery benefits of vitamin C antioxidant benefits of vitamin C, 
intercellular effects of vitamin C in the sense that they stimulate the production of collagen and connective tissue fibers that fight wrinkles and the fatty portion, which is wh how it penetrates. Fatty material can penetrate. That's what's cool about fats. They penetrate through the, through the cell membrane to get inside the cell, or they can integrate very effectively with the outside part of the cell membrane. We're just, we're just a bunch of water somehow held intact by fat. And when that fat breaks down, that's when we get sick. Most of our diseases, our long-term chronic degenerative diseases, are fatty diseases. Just like most of skin care is about the fat, or in skin health, is about the fatty part of the skin, not the watery part of the skin, largely. Inflam inflammation, aging, breakdown, these are fat issues. That's why we talk about the gallbladder all the time. And the, that's why you want to keep your gallbladder, by the way. That's why we talk about the liver all the time. That's why we talk about fat metabolism, fat digestion, and fat absorption, and for that matter, fatty nutrients all the time. We spend a lot of time talking about fats. Because once those fats break down, that's when we feel pain. That's when we inflame. That's when we get old. That's when our skin gets saggy. That's when our bones start to dissolve, start to decay. When the fats are off. The watery part is electrical. That's important. The watery part is how electricity is conducted. It's how electricity is transported. That's why you want your electrolytes. That's why you want your minerals, your, uh, a lot of your minerals anyway. Some of your minerals are fatty or at least processed through the fatty part of the body. But vitamin C, the B complex, electrolytes, some of the minerals, these are electrical and they're very, very important, obviously. They work in the watery part of the body. The long-term stuff, the holding on to stuff, the shape the uh, shape maintaining stuff, if you will, because that's what we are, we're shapes, and when our shape disintegrates, we get old and die and fall apart. The shape maintaining stuff, that's fatty. It's the, the fatty stuff is what keeps us from disintegrating, keeps us uh, from inflaming excessively, keeps us from oxidizing, keeps us from melting. I'm melting. I always think of the Wicked Witch of the West when people tell me about their degenerative issues. I always think of, I'm melting, I'm melting. This is the fats dissolving. You know, right before we die, this is kind of morbid, but right before we die, there's kind of a sloshing of liquids that nurses know to listen for, hospice nurses know to listen for, and doctors know to listen for. It's a sloshing. I used to make a medicine, a transdermal medicine in my compounding pharmacy for folks in hospices before they were dying because it was the most agonizing pain. Once the fat starts to disintegrate and the fluid starts to leak out, you can hear it sloshing about. But, you know, that's, that's extreme. That's right before we die. But it happens gradually as we age. That's why fats are so darn important and fat processing, fat metabolism is so darn important. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about inflammation and then uh, talk about anti-inflammation as well. And then I, I really want to get into this stuff about Alzheimer's disease. I've been reading so much about Alzheimer's lately. This is an article I just pulled out from, uh, from uh, the journal Cancer Cell headline, Inhibiting Protein Fibers That Cause Alzheimer's and Parkinson's Disease Points Towards Ovarian Cancer Treatment. How do you like that? The same thing that gets messed up in your ovaries when you have ovarian cancer gets messed up in your brain when you have Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Where have you heard this before? It's the same thing. All our diseases are the same thing. This is so important. You don't need any fancy schmancy specialists or fancy schmancy formulas for this and that. Inhibiting protein fibers that cause Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. I've said this for so long. The protein fibers that they blame on Alzheimer's disease are just a generic way the body breaks down. The cell membrane, the fatty part of the cell breaks down, gets damaged, inflammation ensues, and cells go nuts. They start secreting fibers. This is one of, one of the main things that happens when cells go crazy. They secrete fibers, and another, things that, another thing that eventually happens is they explode their contents. One of which is calcium, by the way. Yes, calcium. Elevated calcium. People, people complain about stones and elevated calcium, and then you get this boneheaded advice, well, you better not take calcium supplements. What you're seeing, what you're witnessing when you have calcium and stones is cells that are defective. They're exploding, and they're not handling their calcium correctly, and it's leaking out. All right. I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Tanya in Los Angeles. What's going on? Good morning. Hi, um, I have two problems today. The uh, first one is high blood pressure, and yes. my research led, led me to an amino acid called L-arginine. Oh, um, love so that stuff. I wanted to know if this is the best for my, uh, for well, my so problem. How does it work? What is the amount I should take, and should I be Whoa. taking anything? You got lots of questions there, Tanya. So here's the that deal. I'm glad. Oh, that was one question. <laughs> Sounds like you're a researcher, though. I like that. I like researchers. I'm yeah, a researcher, too. 
Mm-hmm. I taught you to research? Did I? Yeah. Oh, my God. You see the ingredient that, and so that was the main ingredient on this particular product. Oh, my goodness. Good. Researching the product, the actual um, component itself. Oh, that's awesome, Tanya. Good for you. What do you do? What's your yeah. business? I'm an accountant. <laughs> oh, you're an accountant. So you're used to that kind of stuff, doing research. Yeah, that's sort good. of. Well, you know, that's what accounts do. Anyway, that's all. Okay, awesome. Well, hang on. Let's do one by one. Tanya, let's do one by one, okay? Okay, so here's the deal. High blood pressure is a sign of the emergency response. It's one of the ways the body, body handles emergencies. What we call high blood pressure is not really high blood pressure. Well, it shows up as high blood pressure, but really it's a redirection of blood, pr- blood pressure. The blood is shunted. This is one of the ways the, body, the uh, body handles its life, handles experience, is it redirects blood flow to where it's needed. When you eat a meal, blood flow is directed to your digestive system. When you're running, blood flow is di- uh, directed to your legs. When you're uh, being sexual, blood flow is directed to your genitals. When you're thinking, blood flow is directed to your brain. So blood flow is shunted as our experience changes. When the body senses stress, it will shunt blood flow away from the extremities towards the center of your body. This will raise the pressure, obviously, inside your body. That's called high blood pressure. But it's a manifestation of an emergency. Sugar represents such an emergency. In fact, sugar represents a major emergency. If I, you know, there's there's certain fundamental ideas that I want to get across. The fats, you know, importance of fats. We talked about that. We talk about that a lot. Uh, the simplicity of disease, how all diseases are the same thing. There's certain themes that repeat themselves over and over on the bright side. One of the major themes is sugar is an emergency to the body. Yes, I know. We need small amounts of sugar. And there's some guys writing these emails to me, sending me these emails about how you, sugar is, is, uh, is being unfairly vilified. No, it's not unfairly vilified. Sugar is the enemy after a certain amount, which is very important. And I'm talking simple sugars. This is the major reason why diabetes and hypertension go hand in hand. All right? No matter what your diagnosis is, they could say, oh, your blood sugar's fine. No. If your blood sugar, if you're hypertensive, chances are pretty darn good that you got a sugar problem. So that's the first thing. And by the way, arginine helps you handle your sugar, too. So that's another benefit of arginine. Arginine, uh, while we're talking about arginine here, is a vasodilator. It opens up blood vessels. Tanya, i got to take a break, okay? So hang tight. I'm going to finish up when we come back. What's the product, by the way, you're talking about? Is it a supplement or is it a cosmetic? It's a supplement. It's called arginine... Okay, hang on. We're going to take a break. We'll come back and we'll finish up. Thanks, Tanya. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side talking to Tanya in Los Angeles. Tanya Arginex, you said, or Arginine. The name of the product was Arginex. Tanya? Um, the product is Pro Arginine. Yeah, hi. It's Pro Arginine, oh, Pro Arginine 9. Okay, Arginine 9. It has a bunch of things in it. It has a bunch of stuff in it? Right. Uh, how much arginine is in there? Is it a tablet or a capsule, first of all, before we get to that? It's a powder. Oh, it's a powder. Okay, good. And how much arginine per teaspoon? It has, for, for uh, one of their scoops, is 5,000 milligrams. Okay. That's a good dose of arginine. Uh, but uh, uh, arginine is pretty inexpensive stuff, so you don't want to spend a lot of money on arginine. Arginine is like... It is. It's I, expensive. Nah, you're, that's because they make a formula. This is, this is one, of the, one of the rip-offs in the nutrition business, unfortunately. And uh, you got to be careful. If you're going to get a formula, this is why I like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine so much, by the way. If you're going to get a formula, make sure that formula is packed, loaded with stuff. The BTT is loaded with stuff. You want your formulas loaded. Uh, arginine is pretty inexpensive stuff, so you shouldn't have to spend a lot of money on it. Was it like 50 bucks a pound are you paying? How much are you paying for that? Um, for a container, um, it looks like it's going to be $40. Okay. And then what else is in there? Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole, whole bunch. bunch of different things, okay. a whole bunch of different um, amino acids of this type. Okay, well, let's talk about arginine and hypertension. Arginine is a growth vitamin. It helps you, helps you grow. In fact, growth hormone depends on arginine. Sugar metabolism depends on arginine. Arginine is extremely protective for the heart. Arginine is important for sexual function. Now, arginine is a vasodilator. It opens up blood vessels. This is why it's used for hypertension. And it's a phenomenally important, I mean phenomenally important amino acid. I call it super amino acid because while most amino acids have one or two nitrogen elements, nitrogen does the work when it comes to nutrition, nitrogen does the work. That's the workhorse, is nitrogen. And uh, arginine has more nitrogen components, more nitrogen atoms than any other amino acid. It's super amino acid is what I call it. So I consider it's conditionally essential, they, they say. I consider it to be a must-have, and I've been doing arginine daily for regular, uh, for mm, going on 20 years probably. So uh, 
And also after you work out, arginine is important. However, the major reason why you have hypertension, although arginine can help lower it, lower your 